Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but at the launch of Season of the Haunted, heavy machine guns got buffed. Again. The last buff occurred back in Season of the Lost, where Bungie upped the weapon class's damage by 20% across the board in PvE. Evidently, this wasn't enough to pull the weapon class's performance up to Bungie's liking. So at the launch of the current season, they pushed up the damage another 40% versus red bars and majors, and 20% versus bosses. And I figured that's a great excuse to do an exotic weapon review on one of my favorite machine guns, Air Apparent. We'll get to check up on the buff, talk about what makes Air Apparent tick, and I can spend some time with a weapon that I truly enjoy. Everyone wins. Unless you're not into that sort of thing, then, well, I guess it's your loss. But in all seriousness, if you do end up enjoying the video, feel free to leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, or share it with some friends. They're all great ways of supporting the content, but as I've said in the past, support is earned, not given. And I do appreciate the chance to earn, or keep, your support. But let's hop into the review, though, with a look at Air Apparent's stats and perks. Air Apparent is an exotic solar heavy machine gun firing at 900 rounds per minute with 200 rounds in the magazine. For the stats, we'll pull in the full scope of numbers from Light.gg, and overall, they're quite good given the weapon's fire rate. The impact at 39 is 14 points higher than other 900 round per minute heavy machine guns, so intrinsically, we're going to see a little bit more damage. The range stat is also quite strong when compared to other heavy machine guns sharing the same fire rate. The handling's respectable, but we do have reasonably good marks and stability. The recoil direction on this weapon is mainly vertical, we do have a very solid 90 for the aim assist value. The reload speed is a bit sluggish with the stat sitting at 50, and the airborne effectiveness kind of stinks. But all in all, nice stat line. Air Apparent's intrinsic trait is Heavy Slug Thrower. Hold the aim button to spin the weapon up. It will only fire when fully spun. The exotic perk is Armor of the Colossus. While at full health, spinning this weapon up protects you with an arc over shield. If you have the catalyst unlocked, the shield's durability is increased, and the magazine will be partially reloaded if the shield is destroyed. And if you don't have Air Apparent yet, and you would like to get your hands on it, bad news. This exotic is a curious case. It's the only exotic weapon locked to a seasonal event. Guardian Games. So while it pains me to say it, the next chance you're going to have to get your hands on this weapon is going to be the second quarter of 2023. Unless something changes between now and then, but yeah. But moving on to the PvE section so we can start running some damage and functionality testing. Alright, we'll take a look at the shield first. We hold the aim button to spin the weapon up. After a second and a half, the weapon is ready to fire, and one second later, the overshield will be fully topped off. Remember, you do need to be at full health to gain this overshield. But if you do recover to full health while this weapon is spinning, the shield will still engage. An air apparent does provide a pretty hearty overshield. I'm sitting here at tier 7 resilience. If I let Carl gun me down on just my standard health shield bar, I drop in 3.14 seconds. With the arc shield from Air Apparent up and active, it takes Carl nearly 9.4 seconds to put me down. And I don't know exactly how useful this test will be to you in the moment to moment gameplay, but it does show a good bit of damage mitigation. And just to be clear, this is tested with the catalyst. Also with the catalyst applied, when the shield finally gives out, it'll load up to 100 rounds from reserves back into the magazine. While the shield is up though, you cannot sprint, at least if you want to maintain the shield and the weapon spin up. You can crouch, you can walk, you can jump, you can double jump, but sprinting cancels the spin up. For Air Apparent's reload speed, at base, we're looking at a very lengthy 5.05 seconds. You can knock this down slightly to 4 seconds if you do have a single heavy machine gun loader mod slotted in. For the ammo reserves, you can carry a total of 500 rounds for this weapon at base. 520 with a single heavy machine gun reserves mod, and 540 if you're willing to slap on two. And I think that about covers it, so damage time. But as always, do keep in mind, PvE damage numbers are variable and will change depending on content scaling or enemy tier. This is why I try to keep all of my testing in the Conflux Loss sector on Nessus versus Call of the Colossus. Keep these damage numbers consistent and comparable from video to video. Before the most recent buff, Air Apparent was seeing 2,825 points of damage on a crit, and 2,343 points of damage to the body. And this was just last season, so there will be no jumps in the baseline damage scaling. Post buff, we're looking at 3,955 on a crit, and 3,280 to the body. So we are seeing that full 40% damage increase since Carl is coded as a major. Remember, it's only up 20% versus true boss tier targets. But when we look at the base damage of a legendary 900 RPM heavy machine gun, like Recurrent Impact, it's only hitting for 2,851 on a crit, and 2,186 to the body. Remember, Air Apparent has that higher impact stat at 39 as compared to the legendary 900's 25. That results in Air Apparent dealing 40% more damage than a baseline legendary. And there is no damage perk available on any of the legendary heavy machine guns that is going to equal that damage increase. 
So with Recurrent Impact and its smaller 106 round magazine in this case, if every round were to land as a crit, we could see 302,206 points of damage. The time to empty I have clocked at 7.02 seconds, so damage per second, 43,049. Air Apparent, with its larger 200 round magazine, sees its maximum potential damage within a single magazine work out to 799,000. Or at least it could have if Carl didn't drop after the 88th round. But I mean, that's nearly 800,000 points of damage, and it's not a huge ask, because this weapon does feel extremely stable. The time to empty does come in at a very lengthy 13.29 seconds, but the damage per second still comes in at a stout 60,120. And this obviously isn't going to match the short-term burst damage of an exotic like Sleeper Simulant, dumping over 400,000 points of damage in 4.65 seconds, but the damage being dealt by Air Apparent is still pretty significant. And it's not exactly crit dependent either, we're only looking at a 1.2x crit multiplier. A full magazine of only body shots is still going to do 656,000 points of damage, with the damage per second coming in a shade under 50k. That's not bad at all. For Air Apparent's performance in PvE, this is a weapon that has some strong upside, but also some pretty serious drawbacks. Starting out with the pros, exceptional ad clearing, even in higher end content. We are pouring out some pretty good damage with this exotic. Red bars evaporate, major targets just melt, and even champions can be brute forced with a little help from a buff or a burn if need be. And you can power through unmatched shields with the match game modifier turned on pretty easily. And it can achieve this while maintaining pretty good ammo economy. You can stack up 500 total rounds at base. As long as you're making the attempt not to unnecessarily spray these bullets around like a madman, they can last a very long time. And this also opens the door for a double special weapon loadout, since you're relying on Air Apparent for general ad clearing. All of the previous points make Air Apparent a very efficient weapon throughout the main body of missions or activities. Now, this isn't exactly a speedrunner's dream weapon, but it can make extremely quick work of many activities mid-encounters, especially with the arc shield provided by the weapon. I mean, this is the opening encounter of this week's GM Nightfall. And while I don't have every enemy's undivided attention here, I'm eating a good bit of damage and living to tell about it. Damage mitigation can be a very nice feature, especially if you're trying to solo some of the game's more difficult content. Then in terms of boss damage, you're gonna have plenty in a lot of cases. It's not the best DPS option out there, but it's by no means bad, and oftentimes it's more than enough to get the job done. And Air Apparent is a solar weapon, so there's definitely some synergy to be found within the Solar 3.0 subclass system. Plus, if you hurry, you can use some of the seasonal artifact mods available right now like Rays of Precision or Flame Harvesting. They work very well on this weapon. And for that Titan main that's about to start screaming in the comments section... You didn't even use Actium War Rig with Air Apparent. Are you crazy? I mean, that's debatable, but I do like to keep my weapon reviews subclass neutral. But yeah, that exotic does reload rounds back into auto rifles and heavy machine guns with sustained fire, so it does end up working pretty darn good. Drawbacks. This weapon really cuts into the movement aspect of the game. When physically using the weapon, you can't sprint. And if you do end up sprinting just out of force of habit, you're gonna have to wait that second and a half before the weapon can even fire again. And that can feel like an absolute eternity if you need to shoot your way out of a bad situation. Another thing putting the brakes on this weapon is the reload speed. The base 5 second reload is gut-wrenching, and it's painful to watch that whole animation play out. Plus, running out of rounds in the magazine means losing your arc overshield. In high-end activities, if this happens when you're in a bad position, it's almost guaranteed to get you killed. You gotta keep a very close eye on that bullet count. Then the single target damage is good, but not great. I mean, given enough time, it can dole it out. But if you need to dump a ton of damage, like, right now, Air Apparent is probably not the play. And it does have some really stiff competition in the heavy category. Galahorn, Storm Chaser, Sleeper, Lament, even Xenophage, which is another interesting case. Being a heavy machine gun in its own right, I would have taken a look at it in the damage comparison, but because I do know what kind of damage it can output, I kinda wanted to save it for a video all of its own. Then the physical range isn't great. It's not bad, but some heavy machine guns can pretty much double as a sniper rifle. This isn't one of them, due to the lack of a zoom multiplier, since we don't actually aim down sights with this weapon. Then if you really want to keep the ammo efficiency high and use it like a full-time primary, it's gonna cost you in mod slots and armor energy points. While it can pile up a ton of bullets, you don't ever want to be caught empty if this is your primary ad clearing weapon. Machine Gun Finder mods, Machine Gun Scavenger mods, Machine Gun Reserves mods all have a pretty hefty energy cost, but they might be necessary depending on the rest of your loadout. And I think I've said enough, I've probably missed some points, but we gotta move on. I still have a bunch that I want to cover in terms of PvP, and this is getting to be a pretty lengthy video.
So, hopping right into it. In the Crucible, Air Apparent will hit for 33 points of damage on a crit and 28 points of damage to the body. Assuming that the weapon is already spun up, the optimal time to kill is sitting at 0.33 seconds with 6 crits, or 0.47 seconds if you and 8 shots to the body. This isn't an insta-kill weapon, but those are both insanely fast. And in either case, it doesn't take much to shred up a Guardian while in their super. Even with Mrs. Ironworker standing in her well, it still only took me a little bit over a second and a half to put her down. For the physical range, Air Apparent can stretch out to about 38 meters before seeing any damage fall off. Not great, but not bad considering this weapon does not have any zoom magnification. Onto the Arc Shield. After running a few different weapons against it and crunching some numbers, I'm figuring it has right around 75 total hit points. But it also has a damage reduction aspect that varies with the source of the damage. I had Mrs. Ironworker use a couple different weapons of each type to cross-check the numbers, and everything in the end lined up pretty darn well. Weapons that have no elemental damage tied to them, so kinetic weapons, or stasis weapons for that matter, will deal 60% less damage to the arc shield. If the shield's being hit by a non-arc elemental weapon, so solar or void, those bullets will see about a 36% damage reduction. When the shield's being hit with an arc weapon, the damage reduction on those shots is only going to be 25%. And while we only tried three different cases for the next test, this seems to hold true for abilities as well. An uncharged base melee deals 100 damage, versus the arc shield, we're looking at 38 damage. So that hangs right around that 60% damage reduction. A firebolt grenade at base deals 65 points of damage, versus the arc shield, it's only hitting for 41, 36% less damage approximately. With an Arc Bolt Grenade, it'll see 106 points of damage at base, and versus the Arc Shield, we're looking at 80, so there's your approximate 25% damage reduction. But when the Arc Shield is broken by Arc Damage, the shield's gonna shatter and emit a powerful blast. Both the Air Apparent Wielder and any allies that are reasonably close in proximity will take 130 points of damage. In most cases, this is gonna leave any player affected by the blast critical and on their red health bar. So that's something nice to keep in mind when playing against or with an Air Apparent user. Performance-wise, Air Apparent used to terrorize the Crucible. It felt unkillable, it was a real nuisance. It did get nerfed eventually, knocking down the shield's damage resistance in PvP, but after using it just recently, it still feels pretty stinking good. The shield still provides a good bit of damage mitigation, especially versus players who aren't wise enough to try to knock down the shield with an energy weapon. And both the optimal and body shot time to kills are extremely fast. It's almost comical just how fast you can sit an opposing guardian down with body shots alone. And that's just that base, without any empowering buffs factored in. Plus, Air Apparent is stable enough, accurate enough, and packs enough forgiveness from the high aim assist stat to comfortably hit those time to kills from mid range. Then, it pulls a lot of ammo when grabbing heavy off the wall. 68 rounds. If you're accurate with your shots and somewhat conservative with your ammo consumption, you can get some pretty serious uptime with Air Apparent. And because of this, it can be a serious disruption to the enemy team's gameplay. Sometimes enemy players will just decide not to engage with Air Apparent, forcing them to course correct and choose a different route. Players who do try to engage will usually throw the kitchen sink at you to get that shield busted down. Grenades, melees, special ammo, supers. I got solo supered a lot. People do not like seeing an Air Apparent on the field. And I'm totally fine with that. If an enemy's willing to spend everything in their kit to stop me, that's a huge benefit to the rest of my team. But arc damage though. Arc damage is scary. You saw in the testing how bad it hurts when that shield breaks. And not only to just you, to anyone around you, and you hate to feel responsible for getting one of your teammates killed as well. And this problem is probably going to get worse next season with arc 3.0 presumably on the way. Many players are probably going to be opting to explore the new subclasses, which is inherently bad for Air Apparent. And then just like in PvE, we're less mobile. Sprinting kills the spin-up, drops the shield, and forces the user to re-spin the weapon before firing again. So if you do need to sprint, you gotta be really careful with your positioning. On top of that, the big blue shield makes you a large and very visible target. You're easy to spot and you're easy to hit when physically using the weapon because you are confined to walking speeds. If an enemy guardian has the correct tools to deal with you, you can often be a sitting duck. But all in all, Air Apparent is in a pretty good spot on both sides of the game in my opinion. With the recent buff in PvE, this weapon can rip through most of the game's content with relative ease. And it can find some footing in higher end content with the right loadout in the right situation. In PvP, it's still a damn good heavy. Many players seem to have shelved it after the nerf, and while it doesn't sit in the brokenly overpowered category anymore, it can still tear through some lobbies with good situational awareness. I definitely recommend giving it a try if you haven't recently, on either side of the game. 
it's still plenty viable, and this is a weapon that can definitely hold its own. But hey, if you did enjoy the video, like, subscribe, share it with some friends, all are great ways of supporting the Ironworker Gaming channel and the content I produce. If you have anything to add, as always, drop it down in the comments. And with all that being said, I'd like to thank you for taking the time out of your day to check out this weapon breakdown. You guys are awesome, and I will catch you on the next one.